All right, everyone, let's continue this very horrid franchise. What the frick? My calendar, there you go. So I really am sucking right now. But let's bounce back against the Red Sox, hopefully. All right, let's go, let's do this. Starting off 0-3. That's where you want to be. All right. <laughs> Not really. Now let's go. Let's get going. All right. Playing at my stadium. Maybe that'll bring me some good luck, which it has not. Ugh. Man. Got finals this week. Ugh, not really looking forward to it. I have my organic chemistry ACS exam. I'm not really looking forward to it. <laughs> then, of course, I got zoology final exam. And then, of course, the history and stuff will be simple. Johnny Vetter yeah, music. makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. All right, here we go. Let's look at that. Something there real quick. Underway now on a darn it. The Come on. Pitch of our series misses for ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, EK, they come in in a real funk to start the year. Still darn searching it. for what's been an elusive first win. Yeah, both of these teams come into the series riding losing streaks. So, the good news someone's going to get back in the win column here. Other than that, not a whole lot of There we go. All right. Good throw gets him one gun. I turn my headset style a little bit here. Jason Kipnis will step in now. All right. He drove in here we his go. Only run a night ago. Do this. First pitch coming. And a ball one and zero. Can't believe they just one freaking hold up on, on that. Come on. The one zero pitch. Two and zero now. And on Piece two and of crap. This is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but I would maybe think about something else. Too tight with that. Come on, man! He's freaking holding zero. up on everything. Even on three and zero, it's no given that he's going to be taken up there. We've seen him go after pitches in this spot before. He's not going to hold back. Whoa. That one's in there. Three and one. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball. 93, 94. That's plenty hard enough to blow up by guys when you need to. Come on. Oh, come on, man. Such crap they hold up on every freaking thing. Now we got Mike Trout up here. Darn it. His first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Freaking press the button. Screw you. Second with ease. One out and a runner on second base. He waits. Now the pitch. That's over, but oh, low wow, man. And a strike. Well, this is the kind of situation where they came up short last night. They had opportunities, but they could never really cash them in. So I bet they'd love to get something going on the board early here. Here comes a one-two. Just does manage. To oh, get I just barely hit five. that. Runner at second here with one Come man. on. Pause, now the pitch. And this is fouled what back. What freaking hitting it, Mike Trout? How dare you? Here's another one, two. Look out. Uh. Almost got away from him. Two and two now. You worry a little about things snowballing from here? Well, you know, these are two teams that don't traditionally care for each other. Too much. There we go. go Struck out Mike goal. Trout. Oh, yeah. Swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Uh, now I have to get Jose Batista. Jose Batista to step in for the first time. And as you can see, not the fastest of starts for him this first week of the season. And it's uh. up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Here comes the 1 0. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Here's the one one. This is hit on the ground but foul. Alright. Strike out. Come on. Here 
comes the one two. Hammer. Oh my god. 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 Ah. What the freak? Over the wall, but the run will score. Ah. Victor Martinez. Darn it. Looking to keep this first inning rally hot. Now here's the first pitch. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Well, we'll give you a look there at the graphic. He picks up his first two base hit of the new season in the air to right center. Uh. Under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Red Sox strike for a run on the RBI double. On to the bottom of the first. Boston's off to a one nothing lead. D. Gordon swings and misses there, so he's down 0 1. EK, you take a look at our visitors as they enter play here this evening. They come in in a real funk to start the year. Still searching for what's been an elusive go. first win. Yeah, both of these teams come into the series riding losing streaks. So, the good news, someone's going to get back in the win column here. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of good to report for either side. Now, here's the first pitch. And there he goes towards second. Pitch outside. Nice. Throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. One zero on the way, and this may get the runner to third as it's on the ground towards second base. Ah! Catch is made. One away. Matt Adams will make his first appearance here, and he'll do so in a good RBI spot. Leadoff man has moved up to third now with one away. Here's the first offering. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat. Oh, nice. Straight away right field, and you can Finally got a home run. So, yeah, Matt Adams hit me a home run before. A two-run blast to straight away right field, and the Yankees take the lead. It's two to one. Evan Gaddis comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's one and oh. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad uh, to give darn him it. above the letters. Throw in time at first for route number two. Manny Machado will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. Machado! Ball one. The 1 0. Mind into left center. Nice. And that is going to be a base hit. There we go. James Loney will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last night. Here's the first offering. And that's in there for strike one. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. He's ready. Now the pitch. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Ready now on one and one. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Not nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at-bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. Now the one-two. Grounded foul off to the left, so they'll do it again. He'll try again, one, two. And a fast oh, my God. Darn it. Ah, that sucked. It was freaking horrible. Matt Holliday leads things off now in the top half of the second. The left fielder, number seven, Matt Holliday. First pitch to him. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Now the pitch. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. 1-1 one, one on the way. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. The right-hander deals on one and two. And he reaches for one out nice. of the Nice. Got Matt Holiday to strike out. Awesome. Well, David Wright. <laughs> David Wright will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. 
And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Yeah, those are the ones you like to start in that bat, especially your first time up. I agree. Give me a nice, easy one in the dirt that I can take so there I can we really go. get ahead in that count early. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. Oswaldo Arcia will stand in here, looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. It looked like he was going to try to go the other way with that thing, but a wise idea there to try to hold up. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball, but a foul ball, one and one. The one one. And he comes up empty there on a pitch in the dirt and falls behind now one and two. Here's the one two. Swing and a miss. Yes. The slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Okay, George, George bring up. Will stand in, and he wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game, in which the team could muster all of one run. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Now the pitch. This is sharply hit back up the middle. There we go. The leadoff man is going to reach here. He's got a base hit. Starlin Castro will stand in, hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. First pitch coming. First pitch uh. back in here, and that's the first strike. Maybe a spot to pitch out on 0 and 1. Well, I think he wants to go, no doubt. Might not be too bad an idea. And this is going to be a foul ball. He's ready now. The pitch. Out of play. The 0-2 once more. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but now on two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. <laughs> but a foul well, at least I uh, increase his pitch count a little bit. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats. And he's just fighting to stay alive here. Still 2-2. Two and two. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And he'll finally just oh, wear him down as this one swung the out and missed. I even had good out. timing on that one, too. Darn it. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And that'll bring in Jared Salto Lamacchia. First pitch on the way. And this is hit well yes. towards the hole. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. D. Gordon will stand in. He singled to lead off the home first. First pitch coming. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Pretty good speed here coming out of that left-handed batter's box, so it's no sure thing that a ground ball means a double play. Trying to bunt his way aboard, but he uh, can't connect. I was trying one to. And one. Yeah, it worked. Not a bad idea. He waited a pitch there before showing bunt. Sometimes that might back that third baseman up a step or two if you see if you're not button at the first pitch. High and wide, two balls and a strike. Ready with the 2-1. Here's a big uh. miss on the fastball, 2-2. Two and two. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. Now, I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, when you tend to get hurt. Three and two, here it is. And this one misses yes. here. Close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Oh, still up. Ruzne Castillo will stand in with a golden opportunity to open this thing up early on. And oh, come on, man. The curve ball there. No balls and a strike. It's going to take a lot of guile to work out of this one. Well, he's got plenty in reserve. This would need a oh. magic act, no doubt. Fastball called for strike two. 
He set now the pitch. And this is Oh, come on. So a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Matt Adams will step in with the bases full of Yankees now and two men out. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Come on, Yanks. From the stretch. And that misses, 1-1. One and one. One, one. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. Well, with every pitch it misses, he just keeps digging himself a deeper and deeper hole. Here it comes, two and one. Oh, come on, man. Fouled into the seats near third. <sighs> Pitches to this point in the inning. Two two pitch on the way. And this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. Now you can't think corner perfect pitch here on the map. And this has got to be somewhere near the middle. No! Oh, come on! It has been made for the third out, inning over. Tyler Flowers will step in here to start their half of the third with the top of the order to follow. Plato's back to work as he gets ahead of the first man to greet him here. Nothing in one. And now pitch on the way. On a big swing, and he crushes this God ball. God dang it! My goodness, a long home run. So a solo shot down the line in left, and the Red Sox have come back to knock things up at two. Johnny Benner is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1-0. and oh. The next pitch. Fouled straight back. One one pitch on the way. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A two one offering. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Winning his turn on deck next is Jason Kipnis. Here he comes. Three one. And this misses. Oh come on! The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Jason Kipnis will stand in now. He'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Come set, now the pitch. Ball oh, one. come Guys, on! Here with a run in already, you don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility of a double play. He goes the other way as this is hit well out toward deep left field. Able to make the play is Gaddis, and that's the first down. Mike Trout will stand in with a run in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And here's the first pitch. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. And these guys already have one home run here in the inning, and now you get to the real power guys here. So you need to be careful. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Here's the one one. Grounded foul off to the left near Brian Butterfield in the third base coaching box. So one and two with one away. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Here's Castro for one. On to first as they get the All double right. play to get him out of the inning. Tied up again. Darn it. Evan Gaddis makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Fastball in there for a called strike. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times, he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Now the 1-1. One, one. Fouled back. One, two. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. One out here in the Yankees' third inning. And standing in now, the third baseman, Manny Machado. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. A lot of late movement on that fastball. 
That nearly came back to the outer edge. Inside corner, a ball and a strike. The 1-1 home. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. 2-1. Two, to two and two now. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. And this is swung on and missed his fifth <sighs> out already, and there are two gone in the inning. James Loney will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Here it comes. Right on that pitch that time as he wraps it into center field, the base hit. Well, he'd had some high-stress innings here so far. It was looking like he turned a corner and was on his way to a much-needed one, two, three. But he's going to have to get in the stretch here after all. Good swing there, but this is foul off to the right side. From the belt, the pitch. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Now 0-2 here. This is where you need to expand the zone. If it's close, you got to let it fly. From the belt, kicks and deals. Still sticking with the fastball, but this time he lays off. It's one and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. Now a slider in the dirt. Good block by the catcher there. Sets the 2-2 two -two pitch. A full count, three balls and two strikes. And now the benefit of you working the count to three two is that that runner gets a head start from first with two. Of them. And we'll have come to on! I'm tired of striking tired out. The Yanks leave one, and after three, it remains a two two tie. First offering on the way. Jose Bautista is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Now here's the pitch. That's in there as well. It's a quick 0-2 count. Now here it comes. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here comes another 0-2. That fastball straightens him up a bit. 1-2 and two now. Here's the pitch. Nope, Tough pitch down. to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at 2-2. Two and two. And when he's down 0-2, oh he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2-2, two and two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Victor Martinez will stand in, coming off a season in which he was named the American League's Silver Slugger at DH in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. You got to make sure if you come inside, you come way inside. If you leave it out a bit, he's liable to hit that thing in the second deck. We'll take this in without much trouble, and two are gone here to start the fourth. So bases are empty here with two gone, and here's the left fielder, Matt Holliday. Here's the first pitch to him. In there, no balls and a strike. Two runs on two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Here's Latos now on 0-2. A little bit off the outside, it's 1-2. and Yeah, this was right to the catcher's glove. I mean, he hardly moved, but he was just set up a little too far off the plate to get the call. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now another 1-2. Oh. 
That's on the ground to short. This should end the Are inning. you freaking no, kidding me? It's by him for a two out hit. Oh my god, he didn't grab it. That is so stupid. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And stepping in, the all-star third baseman, David Wright. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. I don't think he's going to want to throw that pitch in that same location again ever in his life to this guy. Has a look, now the pitch. And a good 0-2 pitch there, but right able to lay off to make it a ball and two strikes. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but that's the third strike and the third out. Side is retired. Starlin Castro will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. The 1-0 home. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. Now the pitch. Outside. 3-0 now. And it goes without saying, but this has to be in the strike zone. You don't want him on base to start off the inning. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Jared Saltalamacchia will dig in. He singled his first time around. Now the first pitch. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And that is into right field, the base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. D. Gordon will stand in here with two on. And now, following the walk and the single, do you get the sense, E.K., that they're getting to him just a bit? Maybe a little. I, I wouldn't be too worried just yet. He's shown the ability to bounce back before, but... Oh, come on! Back to first, and Gordon has hit into a double play. Luzne Castillo will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. And even after the double play, you can still make something out of this inning with a simple base hit here. He's set, now the pitch. Outside for a ball, one and one. Here comes the one, one. And that's off his leg on the mound. And now, yeah. what? Will get an out what? What? One left for Screw the that bull crap. The that was freaking retarded. He was safe. Oh my god, dude. That was freaking gay. Oh my god, come on. Stupid game. Now the first pitch. And a bouncing ball foul. The pitch. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit in the air to right field. And uh. he's the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. A solo shot here to straight away right field. And the Red Sox have taken a 3-2 lead. Tyler Flowers is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Nope. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Now, after the home run last time, you can see a more cautious approach this at-bat. They don't want to get burned again. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3-0. And, oh. and there you see the leadoff man on deck. And you know they'd love to get someone on base when this lineup turns over. And a good comeback there. It's 3-1. and one. Pitch on the way. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Here's the full count offering. This is a hard hit ball back up. Oh the my end. god! Have a second hit tonight as it's into center field for. Now amazing. they're gonna hit everything again, of course. Johnny Venner will stand in. Base on balls his last time. 
Now here's the first pitch. He's running towards second. Swing and a liner. Foul. He's ready. Now the pitch. Goodness. 0-2 now. Down 0-2 after two great sliders. He's got his work cut out for him now. Ah, he can't get him to bite this time. It's 1-2. and two. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. Another 1-2 delivery. Now a hot shot to the left oh, side. Oh, come on. That changeup freaking sucks. Sure base hit. Okay. Jason Kipnis will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Now here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. He's going to get a visit from his catcher here because even though he got away with that last pitch, it was right down the middle of the plate. Nowhere near the target. And this is not the guy you want to start missing your location with. Here's a ground ball to first. Throw it. Throw in time as he's called out on a very Oh my God. won't be in time, so they just get the one there. Mike Trout will stand in looking to turn things around. He struck out and bounced into a double play so far. Not such a hot start. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. 1-0. One -oh. And he misses again. I don't even freaking want to play this game anymore. Cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in a strike zone. And this one's over at the knees, 2-1. and one. He's set, now the pitch. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw. Tag there from Gordon, and they got him at second base. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball, and he sets him down for out number three. Matt Adams will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch coming. Oh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Evan Gaddis will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. First pitch fastball swung on and this going one. You can tell here, in his mind, he's thinking quick inning. He's not even trying to set guys up. He's coming right after him. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Oh, man, what a perfect pitch right there in a perfect spot. And that's exactly how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Here's the first offering. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. You know, maybe the most impressive thing about his performance so far, he's doing it all in a hitter's ballpark. But it's hard to come in here and pitch like this, but he's done a heck of a job. Machado awaits the 2-0. Well, on a good swing there by Machado, but he pulls this one foul down the line and out of play. Here comes the 2-1. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3-1. And, and they know full well the threat that this guy poses. So even down 3-1, and one, I can't imagine he's going to get anything that he can drive right here. The 3-2 now to Machado. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Jose Bautista will stand in as he'll lead things off for the Red Sox in their half of the sixth. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Now here's the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's 1-2. and two. And if he's getting tired, it's not showing in his slider. That pitch is still as tight as it was in the second inning. 
Oh, and he leaves another one over the plate, and this ball's <sighs> And for the third time tonight, he has served up a home run. A solo home run that time off the bat of Jose Batista, the 248th of his career. And it moves the Red Sox out to a 4-2 lead. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Now here's the pitch. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. Castillo comes on now and he has it one down. Matt Holliday will dig in with one in and one away. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Now the 1-0. One and one. Yeah, just really jumping out at that last pitch. He had him thinking fastball, maybe even slider. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Ball flying around the yard in this one, as you see so far there. The one-two. To two balls and two strikes now. Here he comes on two and two. And he'll be rung up here by Clyde Washington. Strike three at the knees, and there are two away. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And stepping in, the all-star third baseman, David Wright. In there, and it's 0-1. Now here it comes. Hit hard toward the right side. But Loney's able to get his glove up and take it in, and that ends the inning. James Loney will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zero since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. Throw to first is in time for the first out. George Springer will stand in now. He's singled and struck out in two trips. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. And now pitch on the way. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And, and the pitch. Just a touch outside, 1-2. and two. That's a good spot for that fastball on 0-2. That couldn't have been an easy take. Swing and a line drive to left. And that's going to get down out there. Starlin Castro will stand in. Base on balls his last time. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. First pitch to him. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. Here it comes. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Yankees. Still down by a count of four to two. Oswaldo Arcia. We'll stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. Now the pitch. Still taking here as he looks at the slider this time, and he's in a big hole now, down 0-2. Here's Latos now on 0-2. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. I'll say this. He wasn't going to get his arms extended on that one. Fouled back. Here's another one, two. He makes good contact on it as this is going to make its way through into left field for a base hit.
Tyler Flowers will stride in again, and before he takes his cut here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Wade Davis will get the assignment on the mound here as he'll enter with the runner at first and nobody out. Tyler Flowers will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. He waits. Now the pitch. Chopper foul. Come set. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Johnny Benner will dig in now. One for two to this point. Here's the first offering. It swung on and hit in the air. Four oh, the come on. Down for a base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And this will add on to the freaking retarded. Five two ball game. Jason Kipnis will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. First pitch on the way. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Surprising to you guys that it looks like they're going to pitch to him? It is to me. I mean, I wouldn't go anywhere near this guy with a base open. Slice down the left side, but foul. Pause. Now the pitch. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. And even on one and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking here. You've got to put this ball in play. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Here's the two and two offering. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And they'll add one oh, more on come the on, man. Oh, my God. I'm getting so tired of this game, man. The way oh their starter's throwing, he may not even need it. But I bet he'll be grateful for that extra cushion, no doubt. Mike Trout will stand in. And I've got to think these add-on runs here will really make it difficult to come back from. And that's how they've done it all game long. They haven't really had a big inning yet. Just a lot of ones and twos, but those will add up. The 1-0. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw on Deloney will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. First pitch coming. Jared Saltalamacchia. Screw this. As he swings and misses at that one at strike one. If I didn't know any better, I think this was his first inning out there. He's still throwing the ball with a lot of velocity. And Saltalamacchia swings right through that one as he's in the hole now, down 0-2. Yeah, same pitch, same result, and he's laid on it again. Swing and a broken bat is just... Oh my god, the anger is freaking building up toward this freaking game! I'll tell you what, I wouldn't trade places with that guy for anything. I mean, this would sting on a 95-degree afternoon in Arlington, but on a cold night like this, He's going to be fueling up for a couple of hours. That's called a good old-fashioned jam sandwich. Now the pitch. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Yeah, ground ball out to start the seventh. Now an 0-2 count. He's looking sharp as ever. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, 1-2. Here comes a 1-2. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Yeah, after that last swing, I would have thought they'd go right back in, but that's actually not a bad location. Oh, my God. For something Just out there. let this Settle game be over. To make the catch, and that's out number two. Rusne Castillo will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And here's the first pitch. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. One oh pitch now. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. Yeah, he's definitely still bringing it. It's the seventh inning, and we're still hearing the catcher's mitt snapping all the way up here. Down low, two balls and a strike. The pitch. 
Ball three. And a good job here of making him throw a lot of pitches. I mean, he probably doesn't have a whole lot left in the tank, so the more you make him work, the better your chances of getting a mistake. And now from the air, a jump throw. And the throw will not be in time, as I don't think he was going to get him anyway, but a fine effort nonetheless. First offering on the way. And this is hit hard up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Evan Gaddis will get his shot now with two on and two out here in inning number seven. Here's the first pitch to him. Lays off 1-0. and oh. The Yanks just need that one big hit they've been lacking so far. Here's the 1-0. Oh. Grounded foul. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Inside here with the hard stuff, and it's 2-1 and one now. A two-out hit here would be nice, but a two-out walk wouldn't be the worst thing in the world either. Now the 2-1 pitch. Trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball, and he missed it. It's 3-1 and one now. Well, as if things weren't bad enough, he's in danger now of loading the bases for that man. Yeah, I don't think that's ever a sound strategy in anybody's book. Now the three and two pitch. And he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses its ball four. Here comes Sox manager John Farrell on his way out to the mound. And that's going to be all for Jason Hamill. Manny Machado will stand in now in what could be a real make or break situation. You think at this point you have to get something out of this end. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. Machado now on 0 and 1. And he misses with it 1 and 1. Bad time for the strike zone to go MIA. Yeah, and he could have used that one, no doubt about it. Swing and a hard hit grounder down the line. He tries to get to the backhand, but it gets on by. One run is scored. And the second run will score as well. And just like <clears> that, it's got to 6 4 now. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now the first pitch. Swing hard liner to left center. And he's got himself a base hit. Now the throw in from Holiday is going to keep that runner from advancing past third. George Springer will stand in. The eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. First pitch coming. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Now he's going to have to punch his way off the ropes now. Here's a 1-0. Oh. Inside corner, a ball and a strike. Yeah, definitely take it all the way. Not a bad idea with the bases loaded. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And that misses, 2-1. Oh, no. Well, he's starting to put himself into a no-win situation. Obviously, you don't want to walk home a run. But you can't just throw a cookie in there because he can bring in four with one swing. Don, this could be trouble now. It's three and one. Here he comes on three one. Now a ball. No! Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a ball hit high, but not very far. And you, right and he freaking flies out. Oh, come on. There and he puts it away as they're able to escape with only limited <sighs> damage on the scoreboard. Jose Bautista will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball that's 1-0. Wide 2 0. Oh. Two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally, this sure would be all over him, but he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. Nope. 3 0. Oh. And when you need a shutdown inning, lead off walks not on the agenda. You better bear down right here. Let it rip that time 3 0, oh, but the fastball's by him. 3 and 1. And this is a guy who will not get cheated up there, and he almost came out of his shoes on that one. 
Oh, bull crap. Come on. Victor Martinez will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Now here's the first pitch. Runner goes for second. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. He's ready now. The pitch. Here's a fastball now that's hit softly down the line to third. Oh, and he throws it away. Matt Holliday will dig in. Took a cold third strike his last time. Now the first pitch. There's the cut fastball, but it's low 1-0. Six runs, nine hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Here's the 1-0. Swing and a ball pulled foul into the lower level and left. Now the 1-1 one one pitch. Hit hard back up the middle, and Holiday has the base hit. David Wright will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. He could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. From the stretch. And there's ball one. One one on the way. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. Yeah, a good job here of working himself back into a hitter's town, especially with two men on base. Oh my God! Oh no! Are you? Oh my God! And the runner will score. Oh my God! Oh, I'm going to lose it. I've got to freaking lose it, man. Oh, I try to avoid freaking stuff. Oh, my God. I freaking hate this game, man. I freaking hate it. And a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. I was fighting that swing the whole way, but he went around. It's no balls and a strike. Come set, now the pitch. Here's one that misses high, it's one and one. And now, this is all about minimizing damage out there on the mound. He's got to regroup and he's got to do it quick or this game will get away from him. Now the one, two. Lays off, two and two now. Can I just freaking please get a freaking good pitch? comes a 2-2. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. The 2-2 one more time. This ball's grounded foul. The 2-2. Oh, and they pulled the a string on a good change up there as he swings and misses and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Tyler Flowers will dig in. He homered back in inning number three. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Now a swing and a ground ball. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. He's set. Now the pitch. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Dane De La Rosa is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Starlin Castro will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. And that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. Jared Saltalamacchia will step in. A ground out victim his last time. First pitch coming. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through. A base hit. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. First pitch to him. 
Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. One zero on the way. Hit hard to short. Kipnis back to first, and Gordon has hit into a double play. Rusne Castillo will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. Now here's the first pitch. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Perhaps exasperation would be the watchword in that first base dugout. Yeah, and you know, it feels like it's been that way all night for him. Right is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Johnny Venner get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Now the 1-0 pitch. Just missing here. Oh nine. my god, I can't get a freaking break in this dumbass game. Those first couple of pitches haven't missed by a whole lot. That one's more like it, he says. Back to two and one now. Boy, and this is why you're trying to get yourself into good hitters counts. This is just right down the middle on 2-0, and oh, and swinging at this should be your reward, but he decides to let it go. Now the 3-1 pitch. Swing and a ball hit foul, as this will find the seats in right. Here's the pitch. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Jason Kipnis will stand in here. Over two with a run scored so far. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Uh, you can tell he's still frustrated after that first called strike. It's still on his mind. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Another 0-2 coming. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And with a runner on first, you better have a catcher that you can rely on if you're going to bounce a change up on an 0-2 count. Luckily, he does. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Mike Trout will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ball game. Here's the first offering. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0 and 2. From the belt, the pitch, and he struck him out. And there's the hat trick, and that's his third strikeout of the ball game. Jose Bautista will try it again. He homered back in the sixth inning. He's ready. Now the pitch. And he catches the inside corner for a false strike. Nothing in one. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. He's set. Now the pitch. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. Matt Adams will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. Here's the first offering. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Here comes the 1-0. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Here's a guy that understands. It's all about getting on base at this point, so good idea there just to wait for strike one. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Here's the two-one pitch. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And Martinez will take this one to the bank himself for the out. Evan Gaddis will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. First pitch coming. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he 
he's getting guys to go after it, it's doing its job. But if he starts to get too high or too far outside, then it's just an easy take. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Manny Machado at the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. First pitch on the way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. The 1-0 pitch. And this is in the air to right. And this should do it. And oh, my God. That was a freaking nightmare, man. For the first oh. time this year as the ball game is over. Oh, that my God. That right game really sucked. For this series, right now, throughout these four road games, road I'm really I'm really up. kind of disliking the game itself. More because I'm freaking fuming right now. These past four games, I've been fuming. This is exactly why I got rid of 2K15. This keeps up. I don't. I don't know if I want to freaking deal with this stupid freaking game, man. If I can't freaking win at all, I don't. There's no worth the freaking play. I'm just gonna be upset with it the whole freaking time. And of course, freaking chain reaction will occur. I get freaking ticked off at the game. Then everyone else gets ticked at me for, for freaking yelling and like. To this man, Jose Bautista. Can't ask for much more. He's our tops player of the game. Oh my God, yeah, he man. came through with a couple of hits, but more importantly, that big home run, which really led his guys to this victory. I don't know what else to do. I even had more hits than him. I don't know if I'm ever going to win a game, man. It's just... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm wasting freaking hours freaking playing this because I'm getting nothing out of it. Not getting any... Freaking enjoyment out playing this game. The loss goes to Matt Latos. He falls to one. It's not even freaking fun.